Yo guys, what's up? This is Jimmy here, Jimmy G23, um, aka, you know what I'm saying? Um, here to bring you guys FIFA 20 player predictions. Um, first team I'm starting off with is Chelsea, of course. got my coffee going yeah and chelsea the reason why i'm doing chelsea is one because i'm a huge fan but two is also because um they're on a transfer ban so they're probably the easiest ones to do um but they did bring back a lot of their lone players we have polishik up here um who was a transfer um this past january michi batman um was on loan and now he's back. Um, hopefully he'll be playing and starting for us. Um, high hopes for him. I don't think he'll probably get a ones to watch. Um, just because he was out on loan. But he'll be back. And then we got Willian. Um, who's going to be the number 10 for Chelsea. So it's going to be a fun fun little video. Um, and pretty easy to do. What I have here guys is potential um, ratings. FIFA 20 ratings. It's all coming from SoFIFA.com. Um, and the card designs. These aren't actual card designs as well. Um, these were um, some predictions for the gold cards, um, and that came from FIFARosters.com. So shout out to both of them to help me put this video together. So with that, though, I did potential um, ratings, so overall ratings. And then I also looked at pace, shooting, passing, and then also potential position changes just based off of last year. Um, so yeah, so now let's get into it. And the very first thing we're going to start off with is attackers. So we got attackers here. So let's very first up, we got Willian. Um, he's going to maintain the same, but I did give him a position change. I think he's going to be playing left wing um, this upcoming year. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he stays as a right wing, but if he's a left wing, that'd be super sick. And he's probably going to get a plus one in shooting, but his overall rating is going to stay the same. Next up, Oliver Giroud. He's 30 years old. I'm surprised he didn't get a decrease in pace um, or decrease in passing, but he did get a decrease in dribbling. Um, minus two, but his overall rating is going to stay the same as a 82 of um, as a 82 next up we got pedro the spanish player the player that gives everyone a lot of hype a lot of hope at the end of it um at the end of the matches he's a phenomenal sub super excited to have him um continue to have him on the team everything maintains the same he actually is probably gonna get a plus one in dribbling so nothing too excited he's gonna maintain a right wing i believe um but that's it michi bastashuai um also known as batman this dude's an animal. He did phenomenal last year. I'm um, not phenomenal. He did pretty good last year. Um, but based off of so FIFA, and he's coming back to Chelsea, he's gonna get a minus one overall rating, and that's primarily due to his minus one in shooting. He is a solid card. He does have a five star weak foot, um, so he'd probably be fun to use. The lineup here for Chelsea next year is gonna be a little interesting. Um, because we also got right wing Pulisic. Um, he's actually a right mid, left mid, but I think um, he's going to be playing a lot of right mid. If not, probably be a, a cam. But for Chelsea, um, if anything, Pulisic will probably be a right wing. This is more than likely going to get a negative one rating decrease. Um, minus one pace, minus two shooting, minus two passing. You know, he had a phenomenal start of the year last year, but coming through the end of the year with Borussia Dortmund, he just didn't, he just got outshined by um, Jaden Sancho. And so I don't think, um, I'm hoping he's going to have a phenomenal year, phenomenal year this year with, with Chelsea, um, being able to get um, plenty of assists because he's able to get in those positions, um, but sometimes he kind of chokes when he um, is in position to shoot the ball. Um, but he's able to make those passes, so I am a little surprised why his passing is a higher. But if he if he's able to get um, some team of the weeks, some rating boost next year, that'd be phenomenal. I'm actually really excited to see him starting lineup. Just for me personally, I think it'd be dope to have William on the left wing, um, uh, Batman as a striker, and then Pulisic as a right wing. That'd be awesome to see, um, and they'd be a lot of fun to watch as William and Pulisic will have a lot of freedom to do whatever they want. Midfielders. Got Conte, Kovacic, Jorginho, Barkley, and Loftus-Cheek. I'm sad to see Loftus-Cheek injured, uh, but we'll go ahead and start with Conte. Conte is probably going to remain the same as a rating. He he is potentially going to get a minus two um, pace. Overall, he's going to stay the same. Hopefully, he gets a plus, plus two defense. Um, these are, of course, all as of um, the end of July here, so anything could, ha could happen in August or at least in the next three weeks during preseason. Or really up until FIFA comes out. So if they have, if they're starting to have a phenomenal season, um, I wouldn't be surprised if they get a rating boost. All right. So next up, we got Kovacic here. Um, he's a he's an 83. He's probably gonna get a minus one overall. So he's gonna get a minus two pace, minus one shooting, minus one passing. 
He's going to get a plus one dri dribbling, which isn't a surprise. He won the footies dynamic dribbler. So, you, you know, pretty, pretty, can't can't argue with that. And he's going to get a minus two on defense. Um, excited to see him to play. He was also a finalist. He was a loan to purchase player from Real Madrid. So it'll be, it'll be fun to see him probably either come off the bench or starting. We'll, we'll see um, how Lampard decides to play everyone. Next up, we have Jorginho. Jorginho is actually a huge surprise, as you can tell. So FIFA has a negative 12 pace decrease. That's right, negative 12. Um, and a minus one rating overall, uh, minus one shooting, as well as a plus one in defense. So it's going to be interesting. He might not be as usable card as he was this past year. We'll see if EA decides to do the negative 12 deep pace decrease. Um, it'll hurt a lot, but... And that, that, that's that for Jorginho. Um, he started off the 2019 season, um, 2018, 2019 season very, very well. But he just kind of fell down. I, I don't think the fans or the supporters really gave him, a, did, didn't really give him a break. So hopefully Lampard is able to switch things up a little bit with him. Um, next up, we got Barkley. Barkley's probably going to maintain the same rating. Um, he's going to get plus one shooting, plus one passing, minus one dribbling, and a plus one physicality. So you guys are probably thinking, well, he's getting plus one shooting, plus one passing, and a plus one physical. But with Cam, it's very important to have, a, um, I, th I believe they weigh the Cam position a lot more with the passing and the shoot and the dribbling. Um, so the plus one in passing, but the minus one in dribbling kind of cancel, cancel each other out. Sparkly, another transfer from last year as well. So hopefully... He'll have um, a great year this year as well. We have a lot of young players here. So um, young or unproven players that possibly didn't get the shine last year. Next up, we have Robin Luft uh, Loftus-Cheek. Um, sad again that he got injured um, in a charity game. But he's, he's probably going to get a plus one rating overall. Plus five in shooting. I mean, that, that'd be phenomenal. Plus one um, dribbling and then plus one in physicality. So overall, like I said, plus one for a center mid. They definitely rate his dribbling. Um, his passing and pace stay the same, but look at that smile. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. And again, hopefully he's um, he's he's able to recover quickly and be able to start playing for us um, quickly. As you guys probably noticed, I didn't include everyone in here. I do have some honorable mentions at the end for you guys. Um, if you guys have any questions, just look at that. If I miss anyone, go ahead and let me know, guys, um, in the chats. If you guys enjoyed this, um, hit me up with a like. And if you guys um, want me to do a different team or do another team, um, go ahead and comment that as well. Guys, we still have the defenders here. So we have first off, Azi Pilicueta. Um, then we got David Luis, Marco Alonso, um, Rudiger, and Christensen. So Azi Pilicueta, let's start with him. He played right back majority of the year this past year, um, but he's probably going to get a minus one overall. I thought he actually... I thought he actually didn't do too bad last year as a right back. Um, I think him being paired up probably with, um, well, I think he got um, outshined by the terrible defense that we had last year, given the left back and the and the center back that we had, um, specifically David Luis and Marco Alonso. Um, but he's going to get a minus one. Also gave him a position change to a right back because I don't see him switching from there. Um, unless Emerson is going to be playing right back. I don't have his rating on here, but potentially. Overall, though, he's probably going to get a minus two um, pace decrease, minus one dribbling, and a minus one defense overall. Next up, we got David Luis. He's going to maintain the same as the 83. Um, plus one pace, plus one passing, minus one dribbling. Again, I don't. Um, he kind of hurt us last year, but since Chelsea's on a transfer ban, it's not necessarily he's going to get rid of. So, But his overall rating is going to stay the same. Hopefully he's able to step it up next year. So next up we got Marco Alonso plus one, eight, which I was honestly pretty surprised about. He's getting a plus one um, rating, and it's because of his plus one. He's probably gonna get a plus one in passing. His defense is he's just an all around solid player, but he didn't do a whole lot last year. So we'll see. We'll. See. I mean, as a Chelsea fan, I'd I'd love to have all these Chelsea players be phenomenal um, FIFA twenty cards. But I, Marco Alonso just didn't do well last year. Rudiger, he was actually my man this past year. I'm excited to see him play. Um, he was a beast. He's the one that had the energy in, in the defensive line. Him and Azi Belaqueta played together phenomenally. At least I thought so. Um, they played with a lot of hearts. Um, they got gritty at times. At, at times, it was just it felt like um, Rudiger was out there on the field by himself. 
You know what I'm saying? So a, a plus one, very well deserved. He goes in from 81 to an 82, plus three in shooting, which is interesting. But then he gets a plus one in defense and, phys and um, in his physical category. Next up, we have Christensen. Eh, he did he did okay last year. He's going to get a minus two overall. Um, again, these are all potential ratings. Minus one in pace, plus minus two in um, defense, as well as minus two in dribbling. So lastly, guys, we have the honorable mentions. Honorable mentions mean people I left out. Um, uh, it's going to include the goalkeeper, Keppa as well. So here we have Tammy Abraham. Um, which I'm excited about. He he already scored for Chelsea this year. And then, honestly, we got some potential people who were on loans, and we brought back. So, Kepa, um, hudson Odoi, another um, person, um, player who got injured. We got Bakioko, who's back on Chelsea now. And then we got Zoma, who's back on Chelsea now. So, start with uh, Tammy. I believe his name's Tammy. Is it Tammy or Tommy? Um, what are, a Abraham, he's going to get a plus one. So, he's going to go from a silver to a gold. He could potentially be a non-rare gold. Um but here, these are the only ones I got. Um, he's going to get possibly a plus three in pace, plus two in shooting, and then plus one in defense as well as in his physical traits. So excited to see him play. I think he'll be a great backup um, for Batman as well as Giroud. Um, but yeah, then we got Keppa, the manager. Um, hopefully he um, listens to Frank Lampard a little bit more, a legend. Um, overall, he's just going to get a minus one um, speed, but his rating is going to stay the same. We got Hudson Adoy. Um, He's going to maintain as a silver card. He had some uh, potential um, when he played the few games that he did with Chelsea towards the end of the season last season. Um, plus three in rating, plus two in pace, plus five in dribbling, plus one in passing, and plus two in um, his physical trait. He's, again, um, potentials, um, but it'd be excited to see him um, if he's able to recover from that uh, torn ruptured Achilles and have a phenomenal season with us. Last one's um, Bakayoko coming back from loan. He was at with AC Milan. He's going to probably get a plus one rating, plus one in defense, but a plus three in physicality. So, again, we're going to have a FIFA 18 repeat if he stays on the team, which I'm excited for. Um, and then being able to go out there and just run people over as you did in FIFA 18. Literally, you would stomp on people with Bakayoko. Lastly, we got Zoma. I believe I'm pronouncing his name right. Um, he's going to get a plus one. He's, he went on loan to Everton, and now he's coming back. So he's going to get a plus four in pace, plus two in defense, but he's going to get a minus one in his physical trait. Um, but we're going we're gonna to have we're gonna be pretty stacked with some French players. It'd be phenomenal to see the front line. Um, we, you have left wing Willian, striker, um, Batman, right wing um, Pulisic. And then you have Conte CDM, Bakayoko CDM. You have Barkley as, as a cam. Or Jorginho as a cam, or Jorginho, um, Barkley, as well as um, uh, Conte. And then, you know, in the back line, you have Alonso, um, Rieger, David Luiz, and then um, Azi Pelicueta. And then, last thing, you have our manager, Kepa. So, it's going to be awesome to see Chelsea. I'm super, super excited for him. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, these FIFA, let me know again. Um, give me a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Give, um, comment if you guys want me to do a team. I do have one more team coming up tomorrow that you guys will um, see and check out. Um, but, yeah, guys. So, um, also also follow me on Twitter. Um, my Twitter link is down below. Twitch is down below if you guys want to see me stream or help me build some of these. I'm going to be building um, a lot of these um, player predictions on Twitch. And then Instagram if you guys want to see some dope clips. But that's it, y'all. Jimmy G23 is out. Peace.